Good evening, Bear Bold Traders. This is Mike B. Back with another recap. Well, less of a recap and more of a, an example of why risk controls are important. Uh, I had a plan to take AMD short as well as a plan to take AMD long today. At the open, stock sold off. Had a nice pullback towards VWAP. Rejected it. I was looking for an entry here at the previous day close, but it never came down to it. Instead, it, it bounced above VWAP and closed with a heavy heavy candle above, so there's a lot of buying pressure. At that time, I switched my thought process over to a long. I was looking to actually get up to the 34.31 over here on the daily for that 52-week high that Carlos was talking about in, during the pre-market. Had a pullback to VWAP, uh, closed above, traded below, bounced back up, closed above. At the same time, there was a lot of ass and a lot of buying pressure. So when it broke that 50, I tried to enter. And as you'll notice over here on my trade log, I got rejected for that order. Quickly realized that was nothing more than me not saving my hotkey changes from yesterday. So I went into the hotkeys, readjusted my entry keys, and uh, saved them. Came back at the same time. Uh, I took a quick look at AMD and I got this other setup again, which uh, looks pretty good. Similar to the one that I was trying to trade. The candle was actually already above the 50, and I looked kind of at the stop loss here at 33.89. Saw the entry point, saw a ton of ass at that 34 level, and I knew if it could break that, it was going to run. If it wasn't, I was going to get stopped out. So I was willing to accept that risk, so I took that entry point right there. And then that's when the chaos started. Stock uh, went against me, uh, came down on my stop loss, and that's when I hit my cover key. And as you'll notice over here, got rejected. I thought that was odd, so I hit it again, got rejected again. At that point, went into crisis mode, hit my panic button, started hitting the escape, hit it five different times, could not get filled, could not get filled. So uh, what my montage normally looks like is a clear blank montage. I don't have this portion of it up. Uh, so I pulled that up and I started hitting the sell or the short button to try to get out of the position. And again, if you look over here, I tried that another five times and got rejected each time on that. In total, I tried to get out in a matter of two minutes with 11 different types of exits and I just couldn't do it. Uh, at that point, I was emotionally distraught. I was shaken, nervous thinking to myself, I'm going to blow my account up today. This is the day they always talk about. There's that one day that you're going to blow it up, and today was the day. And then I remembered, nope, today's not the day. I got risk controls in place. I have a max loss, and I can only lose X amount today, which is in my tolerance. That allowed me to regain my composure, take a breath, and start problem solving. And what I realized very quickly was that the problem with the uh, platform was that the day or the day plus uh, was the issue. And I quickly looked over here at the montage, and you'll notice, like I got it right now, day plus was there. Simply click day, click the short, and as you notice up here at 946, uh, almost two minutes after I got in, I was able to finally get out of that uh, trade. It was an absolute. Um, emotionally straining trade for me. Uh, I was not going to trade after that. I just wasn't in the emotional state to do it. But I want to do this video recap for all those beginner traders out there, or just, just all the traders in general, that if you don't think that you need those risk controls, you're probably right. I haven't needed that risk control ever yet in the six months that I've been live trading until today, because some unexpected event that I didn't plan for or calculate for occurred. It's just like getting in a car. You put your safety belt on, you don't plan to get in a crash, but you never know what's going to happen. It's the unexpected. That's why you should be using those risk controls. So I highly recommend it to all the traders. It's not a sign of weakness. Uh, it's just a way to make sure that you can live to trade another day. And thankfully for me today, I was able to live survive the losses, and, and am able to trade tomorrow on Friday. So I'm looking forward uh, to seeing everybody in the chat tomorrow. Hope this was helpful, and thanks for watching.